Welcome friends, I'm Jamin. Today we're going to be looking at API Sauce. What is API Sauce? Well, it's a lightweight JavaScript wrapper around Axios, which is an HTTP library for JavaScript and TypeScript, and it is built by my company, Infinite Red. So today we're going to be looking at switching over the test suite from the previous runner, which is Ava, over to Jest, which is a little bit more standard these days, but we're not gonna do it by hand. Today, we're going to try to use AI. Now, I've already done this before. I'm gonna show you a previous pull request that I did uh, yesterday. Uh, what it does is it uses Flame, which is our internal AI command line interface, to replace Ramda and Ramda Sauce with vanilla JavaScript equivalents. And if we really quickly take a look at the file, of course, we remove Ramda and Ramda Sauce, then AI wrote everything else that you see here. So it switched over from Ramda Sauce to just URL dot starts with. Uh, and then as you go down, there's also R dot identity switches over to just request arrow request. That's what an identity function is. So this pull request was entirely written with GPT four using flame. So we're going to do the same thing, but this time for the tests, switching over from Ava to Jest. API sauce itself is just one big TypeScript file. And if I scroll through it, you don't have to look at it too closely, but you can see that it's just full of uh, all these wrappers around Axios. And if we look at a particular test here, you can see that we're importing test from Ava and then using that test function to run the test. Ava is a really cool test runner. It provides this T object to each test and then these matchers like is and deep equal and, and whatnot. So we're gonna have to see how to convert this over to Jest. Flame, on the other hand, is a command line tool that we have. It uses GlueGun, and you can look up GlueGun if you want, GlueGun CLI. Within the source, we have a couple of different types of AI, Claude and OpenAI. We're gonna be using OpenAI today, and uh, you should note that I am using GPT-4. I'm not using GPT-3.5 Turbo. So if you don't have GPT-4 access and you try to use a tool similar to this, you're gonna get much different results. Within there, there's a couple of different commands, but we're going to be focusing on the convert command and the convert command uses recipes. These recipes have different prompts and then final notes uh, that are injected after the file that we're trying to convert. Just as an example of the Ramda to plain JavaScript, uh, it says replace the Ramda JS functions in the following the code with plain JavaScript equivalents. Use the simplest version of the equivalent plain JavaScript function that you can. Do not add comments to the replacements. Also replace any Ram Ramda sauce functions with plain JavaScript equivalents as well. And then the final notes are return only the full file contents and no other explanation or notes. Do not use three pack ticks to delimit the start end of the code. Only return the code. If there's no Ramda code, just return the original source as is. There's also a function that's included in each recipe just tells the script whether a particular source file needs to be converted or not. In this case, it checks to see if Ramda is there. So Ramda to JS is, is great, but what we're trying to do is go from Ava to Jest, and I'm gonna make it a TypeScript file. And I'm going to copy the recipe and drop it in here. The should convert needs to check for Ava, and Copilot has given me an example of what it thinks that we should be doing, so I think I'm gonna go for this. Do not add comments. Include any imports that are needed and remove any that are not needed. Do not uh, modify code that is not related to the test functions. And then return only the full file contents, no other explanation or notes. Do not use three back ticks. If there's no Ava test code, just return the original source as is. I have Ava to Jest now, uh, written as a recipe. And what's cool is I can just leave that. I don't need to adjust anything else. I just create a recipe. Rather than starting with the first one, let's try to find one that's rather short. So the config is only 35 lines long. This should be a little bit faster of a, of a conversion. So I wanna see how this goes with a quick little test run. Do file copy relative path of, of active file. If this doesn't show up at the top of your VS code, you can type in copy relative and it'll pop it up. So I've now copied that. And now I type in flame, convert, and in this case, it's going to be Ava, Jest, and then I paste in the relative path. And let's see how it goes. And it now says that it converted it from Ava to Jest. If I come back here, we'll see that we now have some changes. It's test, and rather than t.is, it's saying expect to be. This looks a lot more like a Jest test to me. And then if I come down here, I can see expect 
x to be truthy instead of t.truthy and expect this to be truthy. Looking through it, it does look like it converted it properly. So that looks good, but I want to make sure that this actually runs. So I'm going to, before we get any further, I'm going to yarn remove Ava. So we can probably get rid of the Ava mention here and test unit is going to be changed to jest. And let's yarn add dash D jest so that it saves it as a development dependency. I'm gonna go yarn jest and I'm just gonna paste in the relative path to the one that we just converted and see what happens. So we got a bit of a test failure here and I'm going to check yarn outdated to see if maybe we can upgrade something and you know maybe get out of this just by upgrading. That'd be nice. So I found this issue from 2018 that shows that you can just update your Babel configuration. So I'm gonna try that. Babel ignores test config. Make sure to include that file and just transform ignore patterns as well. So a little bit of messing around with Stack Overflow, of course, uh, finding out that we needed to change over from Babel preset ES 2015, something like that, over to Babel preset ENV. I went ahead and added those, and now if I run yarn jest, it indeed passes. So we're ready to go. So let's grab a little larger file here, async request transform test. This one it goes down to about 232 lines of code. And I'm gonna run flame, convert Ava to jest, and this time it's gonna be that file instead. So let's see how that goes. And it takes a little bit because GPT-4 is not the fastest AI out there, but it is the most accurate that I've found anyway. And there we go, here is the change. Now, there's a problem here. It says, here is the modified file. <laughs> and then it puts the three back ticks in JavaScript in there. That's not what we wanted. It's not exactly what we wanted for sure, but let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at what it gave back. Uh, so first off, we know we don't want this. So we're gonna delete that. And then if I come down, I can see that it is indeed uh, changing over things. Looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, let's keep looking, let's keep looking sort of spot checking it all the way down. Let's go ahead and run jest on that. And that indeed passes. So it looks like it did the job. Uh, we'll be reviewing this a lot more closely when we do our pull request. Let's look at the next thing. Again, copy relative path of, of this file. And again, it, it came up with the here is the modified file. So I don't really like that. I'd like to keep it from doing that in the future. I need to probably modify my prompt over on Flame. So let's go open up Flame. Flame has this convert command. It has the Ava to Jest recipe. I'm gonna add another command here on the final notes. Here is the modified file or anything like it. We only want the modified code. This is important. <laughs> if you output additional text, our tool will not be able to extract and replace the original code with it. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try. Back here and we're gonna grab another test, copy relative path of, of this file. So we're gonna come back here now and run flame again, this time with the async test and let's see how that goes. And really hoping that it doesn't try to put some text in before or after the file. Okay, in this case it did not, that's very nice. Included or imported before all, after all and test from just globals. And then it used those to do the test. So let's run that. And that does pass. Okay, we're making progress. Let's move to the next one. And it looks like this worked as well. Let's run the test. That also passed. Starting to feel like it's, it's working pretty well. So maybe we should go ahead and script the rest of this. Maybe? I'm gonna jump over to ChatGPT and see if it can help me run a bash script or a ZSH script to run through the rest of the files in the test folder. So the prompt that I'm using is I have a number of files in the test folder and they're all .test.js files. I wanna run a script on each of them in sequence. The command looks like this, flame convert ava jest and yarn jest test slash cancellation.test.js. How could I script it in ZSH so it will do the rest of the files this way? And what ChatGPT has given me is to run the command on each file in the test directory that ends with .test.js, you can use a for loop. So I'm going to try running this. 
So you can see that the first one, it says this file does not need to be converted from Ava to Jess because we already did. And it's running through them. And now it found one that it needs to actually convert. So we're gonna leave that going and see if these all can be converted as quickly as possible. I'll be watching uh, the VS code just in case there's something that goes wrong and I can cancel this and rerun it later. As each of these gets changed, you'll see them pop up as modified here and I can review what's going on. I can also watch for any test failures that happen uh, here. So far, so good. Now it's running on headers, I assume. And that one also passed. Looks good. This is exciting. Monitor.test passed. No server.test passed. Params.test, that was a big one. It looks like it worked. Postdata.test also looks like it worked. This is uh, this is working pretty well. I'm I'm pretty impressed to be honest. And jumping through all the rest of these after ChatGPT and Flame have gotten through converting everything over, it looks like everything is passing, which is quite interesting. And now if I run yarn test, uh, everything is passing. Every single test is passing, which is that is that is fantastic. And we're at two point six eight nine seconds. Uh, for running all of the tests, uh, it would be nice to compare that to Ava. So I'm going to commit and I'll switch over to the other, uh, branch, which has Ava still and run yarn test. And we'll see how fast that is. So that's done in 6.3 seconds and running yarn test with just it's 4.78 seconds total, uh, with only two seconds on the actual test. So just is actually quite a bit faster to run. I'm going to push this up to GitHub and then we're going to review it on actual GitHub. So here's the pull request. I'm going to copy the URL and paste it in here. Flame and GPT-4 to convert code base from Ava to Jest. And I think that's fairly self-explanatory. So let's create the pull request and then we're going to review the files. Got rid of Ava. Package JSON. Instead of test Ava-S, it's just Jest. Instead of test.before, it's using before all. So this is interesting, return x.post, and then it was actually converted to an async function here, doing a wait instead. So it actually converted that from a dot then to an await. Scrolling through, spot checking. And after reviewing all of this, it sure looks like it worked well. In total, this modified, it added 377 lines, subtracted 437, meaning that it modified many of those. 20 files changed, pretty impressive stuff. Tests have passed on CI, and so that means that we are done. I didn't expect this to go so easily. This actually was incredibly efficient and really fast. I barely had to do anything. I modified the prompt a little. You saw how small that prompt was. There's not much to it. I really think that we're on the precipice of something pretty big. Here, Flame is the vehicle and GPT-4, of course, the engine powering it. But AI-assisted coding is here to stay. And using tools like this and building tools like this is extremely important. I'm pretty excited. I hope you are too. If you'd like to see Flame be open sourced at some point, please leave me a comment here on YouTube. Click that subscribe button in the like button and send this video to someone who you think might be interested in this. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel and show people what is possible with AI assisted coding. Uh, again, my name is Jamin on Twitter at Jamin Holmgren. Thanks a lot, friends. We'll see you next time.